Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about Tropical Storm Isaia that will be affecting the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, the Bahamas, and then eventually affecting the United States, potentially even making landfall in Florida or potentially other states. Uh, before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like whatever related content. Hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Make sure to share this with your friends and family and like this to get this out to as many people as possible. You can see here, um, it is not officially named Tropical Storm Isa. Isaia at this current moment is potential tropical cyclone 9. It just needs to get a little more organized before it can officially become a tropical storm. But you can see here, it already has a large area of tropical storm force winds as seen in that yellow shade. It's already pretty large um, area of tropical storm force winds. There are tropical storm warnings issued for Puerto Rico and parts of the other islands. Um, this is not currently, the National Hurricane Center does not expect this to become hur a hurricane. Um, I do not either, personally. However, I do think there's a very small chance that could reach Category 1 status. Right now, they, the National Hurricane Center has it forecasted to make landfall in Florida, right next to the Miami area, so this will need to be watched closely. So, let's get right into the models. Intensity guidance for upcoming Tropical Storm Isaia. Has mo most models have it at tropical storm? It's going to be a tropical storm no matter what happens. It will be named. It will be the earliest I named storm. Uh, however, the question is, will it ever reach hurricane intensity? That is the main question, and if it does reach hurricane intensity, it will more than likely be a low-end Category 1. However, I do not currently anticipate it becoming a hurricane at this time. This is some of the potential paths it could take. Uh, this model actually has the hurricane far more east than the National Hurricane Center has forecasted not making landfall in Florida. Um, Every single line is a different outcome that could possibly happen with this current model run. And right now, it's slowly getting pushed more and more west. It's having a westerly trend, which means it's more than likely going to make landfall in the United States at some point in its lifetime. Looking at another model, this one is pretty much perfectly, that black line right there is pretty much perfectly in line with the National Hurricane Center has, except it shows it uh, curving back out into the ocean briefly before making a second landfall in South Carolina and then curving to the northeast. Um, this will be a very dangerous storm, I will say. It will likely cause lots of flooding and lots of damaging winds and wind damage. That's the Shelter Weather Forecast for upcoming Tropical Storm Isaia. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.